One year ago, NATO launched the Non-Combat Resolute Support Mission in Afghanistan following the stand-down of ISAF, the International Security Assistance Force. Resolute Support is really train, advise, and assist at the ministerial and the core levels. And then we do train, advise, and assist at the tactical level only with the special operating forces. So our advisors now are really our primary weapon system here in Afghanistan as we continue to build the capacity of the Afghan security forces. One of the cornerstones of the Resolute Support Mission is the Combined Security Transition Command Afghanistan, a multinational organization responsible for providing resources and developing the capabilities of the Afghan National Army and Police. We train, advise and assist the Afghan security institutions in resource management, transparency, accountability and respect for the rule of law. Now a critical element of our mission is the fiscal discipline and oversight necessary to ensure that the generous donations of the international community are spent as intended. And that investment is paying off. The Afghan security forces have taken the lead and made great strides in their ability to conduct well-planned, complex battlefield operations. They've improved the cooperation and coordination between the army and the police. They've learnt to integrate artillery fires into their current operations. And they've also successfully deployed the MD-530 helicopters to support their force. Despite temporary setbacks, the Afghan army and police have prevented the Taliban from making any strategic gains in the past year. But the Afghans still need assistance, and the international community is committed to giving a helping hand. I've decided to maintain our current posture of 9,800 troops in Afghanistan through most of next year, 2016. The Afghan security forces continue to carry out their security responsibilities across the country in a very challenging security environment. So it is crucial that we continue to support them practically and financially to preserve the gains we have achieved in Afghanistan through our joint efforts over many years. And this commitment to peace and stability in Afghanistan will continue. NATO foreign ministers have agreed to sustain resolute support troop levels this year. They've also agreed to begin work on securing funds for the Afghan security forces over the coming years, demonstrating the continued commitment by NATO allies and its partners to Afghanistan, its people and its future.